Hi guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. Thank you for stopping by, I really do appreciate your time and support on the channel. So today we're going to be doing day two, look two, with this cargo palette. Now this one is called the Vintage Escape Eyeshadow Palette and it is really really beautiful. It's more for autumn winter but it's already been pulled out. I did say in I think yesterday's video that from now on going forward probably not this upcoming two weeks but the two weeks after and going forward after that or through spring and summer I'm only going to be pulling spring and summer deemed appropriate eyeshadow palettes out um, so we'll be playing with a lot more colour but for now I'm just going to use what Pretty Random has already pulled out which is this one so this is day two's palette and then later on in the video I got my last eyeshadow that I ordered from the pastelroses.com it's in the shade Barbados and they also sent me another free gift so I will show you that and I've also got something from Amazon to show you but I'm not going to show you that first I'll show you that right at the end of the video so yeah we're just going to get into this now so it's got a nice like cream ivory shade so harvest moon so we will be using that because you know me I do really like my cream eyeshadows right not everyone's gonna feel like this but I feel like you need to have a cream eyeshadow in every palette if not like to put it all over the eyelid but at least for the brow bone highlight um, where's my mirror right let me go and get one because I seem to have lost it okay we'll just use a Charlotte Tilbury one and we're going to go into Harvest Moon. I'm going to zoom in. I'm glad Pretty Random chose out this palette because I don't know if I want to keep it or not. It's great for autumn and winter, but I've got these kind of tones in other eyeshadow palettes. We'll see. Okay. Right, so for transition, I think I'm going to use autumn. So you can see it's more of an autumn winter one because it's even like the shades are called like, so the shades re relate to autumn and winter. Right, let's find a brush. Okay, so I'm just going in with the Real Techniques 305. And we're just going to go in with autumn even though we're in spring it's a nice light crease transition shade blends out really nice Right, and then I'm going to get a smaller brush. What have we got on here? i use this new look one. I don't know where all my brushes have gone. Um, so then we're going to go in with Hot Cocoa, this one here, just for under the crease. So here. I want it a bit darker than that really, I might have to go on with a darker brown. It's not like me to say is it, I want it a bit darker. Yeah let's make it a little bit darker. Let's go in with chestnut, that one there. This might be too dark now. Right, so I've put the um, chestnut on both eyes. Let's blend all that in if I can find a brush to do that with. Let's see if this one will work. 
I've only used this Wet n Wild one once. Right, so I've only used this Wet n Wild brush once and I didn't like it. It's really, really flimsy. Um, but yeah, that's what it looks like. I got it when it was on sale in Beauty Bay, but I still don't reckon it was worth even the sale price. So, let's kind of blend these out. I think what I'm going to do is go back into autumn to try and blend them out a little bit better. Yeah, that's better. Um, and then I want to go in with Harvest Moon again. Just for the brow bone. Right, and then we need to choose a shade. Part of me wants to use this all over the inner corner. Not the inner corner, all over the lid. It's in the shade Crisp. I'm gonna minute. I think I'm gonna try and do a little cut crease, which never goes well with me, but practice makes perfect. So I'm just using this Primark brush, it's a double-ended one. No, I can never, I think I'm out to pull the stopper out, you know, because I can never get enough out of this um, Revolution one. that I'll have to do right so what are we going to do I really feel like wearing crisp but then I'm not going to have much of a actually we could use cuddle for the inner corner yeah let's just use crisp because I mean look at that that is so beautiful and I don't think I've ever used this just by itself before just all over the lid the washing finish that looks pretty so we're going to be spritzing the brush as well just to see if we can get it more pigmented these are pretty pigmented eyeshadows though yeah this is the perfect palette for autumn and winter I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to get rid of it now I've got another one called Cargo Around the World um, and I've kept it just for the for the names really in the cute packaging I think that can go um, right let's spritz the brush okay so we're going back in with crisp now in the way this is looking but I'm noticing that with spritzing the brush it's not getting any more pigmented so just leave that there so now then we'll go in with an inner corner highlight so cuddle Which is a nice in a corner, but it's not beaming. So I'm not sure what I'm going to eat for dinner later. Still having huge problems with um, these mouth ulcers. I mean, they're not as bad as they were, thankfully. Yeah, they're not as bad as they were, but they're still pretty bad. They told me though it would probably take a few days um, for them to go. So, right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with hot cocoa and chestnut, a mix of those, and that's going to go under the lash line. Right, 
I was talking to my sister as well who's not had as bad as a reaction as I've had but she's pretty ill herself um, so just goes to show you can have the same injection and your, your immune system can fight it and some immune systems can't right I'm just wondering if to put a little bit more of that on because I, I think it's got more of the chestnut on it so let's do that So I'm just applying a little bit more of the hot cocoa. Okay, really liking that. Um, I'm gonna tight line. So we've got the Too Faced Love Eyeliner. Right, I'm gonna sharpen it a bit just because it's a little bit blunt. I just think it's getting to the stage now where it's drying up a little bit. I just want to try and use it up. And I'm not doing too bad a job. Okay, then we'll pop some mascara on. Right, so that's that. So at this point, I'm not gonna put lipstick on just yet because I've got a new lipstick. Actually, I can show you what the lipstick is and just pop it on. Right, so it came today. Um, right, so it came today from Amazon. Um, so I was, that e e I was that eager to get into the package, I ripped it. Um, I've got quite a few of these, well, I've got two of these now and I know I said I didn't want to get any more lipsticks but I do love my matte lipsticks and I don't have a great deal. For some reason I've got more bullet lipsticks than matte. Um, I've wanted this one for a while. It's an, a while. I've wanted this one for a while. It's in the shade Philosopher. Um, looks really really nice. That's why I kind of kept my eyeshadow a little bit neutral today. I was going to use the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions palette but it wouldn't have gone um so yeah i kept it pretty neutral knowing that i was gonna try this lipstick on camera for the very first time so let's let's see what my reaction is right let's so this lipstick by the way guys i've just double checked it so it was from amazon and i actually only paid 2.99 for it and in Superdrug, the 9 99 each. Um, so yeah, I had to grab it because I have wanted it for a while. It's like a cool tone purple, so it's not the best lipstick for this eye look because my eye looks very warm, but let's have a look. Right guys, so this is the overall look. I'm not too sure about this lipstick. It's a lot pinker than I thought it would have been. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. I really do like the eyeshadow look though. It's very, very pretty. The eyeshadow palette's very pretty. I don't think I'm gonna be decluttering it um, unless I can find some of these eyeshadows in my collection like these ones these black ones i don't think i'll ever use so we've got twigs and black crow i don't tend to go for black eyeshadow um the rest though are very very nice i really like this one here this withered trees kind of khaki shade so i'll probably just keep it and i absolutely love this harvest moon shade it looks really nice all over the lid this one is a bit blah, this um, inner corner highlight, it's, you can't really see an awful lot and even like when I go in a few times, I'll go in a few times now and show you on my hand, it's just here, um, you can't see it a lot. This one here is the shade Cinnamon, so 
So that one there is the shade Cinnamon and then this one is what I've got all over the eyelid. Um, so Cinnamon is there and obviously um, that one is the shade Crisp. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you what my palette looks like from um, the Pastel Roses. So I didn't get the palette from the pastelroses.com. They do palettes which are really, really nice, but they're £15 and I, don't, I didn't want to spend £15 when I'd spent so much on the eyeshadows um, in total. They really do make it worth your while um, by giving you free gifts. I mean, I've got an eyeshadow today and it's worth £5.50. I think in this, I only, I don't know how much I spent, but it was less than £7. So they've given me an eyeshadow with my order because they only placed an order for one eyeshadow um, for £7. I don't know whether they looked at both orders combined and maybe just decided to give me another eyeshadow to maybe start off my collection. But yeah, I'm really getting the collection now. I'm going to start for this month. Um, so this is what it's looking like. Right, so what I had to do is I had to um, take up take out my Makeup Geek Ritzy and Makeup Geek Karma. They're both duo chromes because I wanted to leave these Makeup Geek ones in. Um, so this one came today. So this one is Barbados. I will swatch it for you. This one is a lot like Lime Twist. Um, this one. They're both very, I would say glittery, but it does say this is, this is the new version. I don't know what the old version was and at first I was a little bit disappointed when I swatched it this morning I'm like it doesn't look like there's any duo chrome to it um, but in certain lights you can definitely tell um, this one here is a free gift that I got it's not a duo chrome I think my lights going it's not a duo chrome it's just a normal real real pretty eyeshadow it's um just like a peach with golden reflex um real real pretty let me go and get some new batteries because the lighting's going i think sorry about that um so yeah before we were rudely interrupted i was telling you about the free gift that they gave me and i think this is so generous of them because i had a look online and then this, this one they're still selling it's five pound twenty so you can buy it the part I got in um, the other video, I'll just get it. This part that they sent me in my first order, I don't think you can buy it anymore. I've, I've had a look on the kind of like parts that they do and they didn't have this sweet peach one. It is absolutely stunning. Um, but yeah, I haven't seen it there. So it could, I mean, if it was out of stock, it would just say out of stock. So I don't know if that's kind of stock that they did um, and they just don't do it anymore and they're sending it out to customers to try which I think is a really really nice idea I absolutely love that if you watch that first video of my first order with the pastel roses you'll be able to see how much I liked it what I want to do is I just want to do you some swatches of the two eyeshadows I got today and then we're up to date on the order um, I will be ordering from the pastelroses.com in future I think it depends on how they look on the eyes um, I don't want to order any more at this moment in time just because I haven't tried them I'm going to be doing testing Tuesdays with them so yeah um, that's what I want to do at the moment so you'll see these in future testing Tuesday videos right I can't see a wipe oh there's one there I don't really need a wipe um right so barbados this is the one that i paid for i can't remember how much it was is this my invoice for today it was five pound <coughs> twenty it was five pound twenty in the sale and the shipping was three pound sixty eight but i did actually get twenty five percent off so that was £1.30 and then they gave me a free gift um, which I think is really really generous so this one is Barbados 
I think this is like one of the best sellers. I mean, look at that. That is so, so gorgeous. When I looked on the side, I was like, oh, I need that. But it was out of stock at the time. So you can't actually see the shift. You can't actually see the shift on that, I don't think. But it really is a pretty eyeshadow. I swatched it um, this afternoon and I could I could actually see this shift. Let me just swatch it one more time on here. Yeah, when I'm looking here, I can see kind of like the blue green um, shift that it has. And then I'll show you what California looks like. So obviously this is california this one was the free gift this isn't a duo chrome but i wouldn't expect them to give me some of the most expensive stock um it is a beautiful beautiful gorgeous peach shimmer if you're into peach you will love that i mean i think peach eyeshadow and green eyeshadow are probably two of my favorite eyeshadows and it's just a bit strange how I got peach eyeshadow with my first order and peach eyeshadow with my second order. It's like the new. Um, so yeah, that's the California shade. Isn't that beautiful? I would say it's more, it's peach, but it's going on the verge of orange. Or oh, that's how it looks in the camera. But it, trust me, it really is peach. It's not as orange as it looks in the viewfinder. Um, so yeah they're the two shades I got today and um, that's what my little palette looks like so everything is from the pastelroses.com here the six eyeshadows I feel really really lucky to have got the two free gifts that they've sent me they must do that with every order and um, just to kind of say thank you for ordering with them um, which I've never come across um another brand do that so yeah that's really really generous i'm happy to keep ordering um as long as it look nice on the lids so we will be doing our first testing tuesday next week so yeah that's what both of them look like again and um you've seen the look thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate your time and support it means the absolute world to me please like it really does help out the channel share and comment and if you're not already subscribed hit that subscribe button on your way out bye guys